My name is Juliette Solly. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I have a pre-existing condition known as cerebral or cerebral, depending on who you talk to and how you want to say it, palsy. Um, basically, that means that when I was born or when I was in utero, at some point in that process, there was a lack of oxygen to my brain. And what that means, basically, in a nutshell, is that I have some brain damage, um, mostly to the part of my brain that controls muscle movement and coordination, physical coordination. It is a developmental disability, which means that it shows up before the age of 22. And in me, it affects my ability to walk so I walk with a bit of a limp. It affects my ability to do some fine motor tasks, such as buttoning a shirt or putting a clothespin on a bag of chips when I'm finished with them. And it also affects my eyesight in the sense that I have very little depth perception and I'm not very good at judging the distance between the objects around me. Mm -hmm. I always had physical therapy. I always had regular doctor's visits. Um, when I was five, I had major back surgery um, where they removed, basically they removed nerves out of, the, out of my spinal cord that were sending my brain the wrong messages and causing me to fall a lot and tiptoe a lot. So instead of walking on my heels, I was walking on my toes. And so I had this major surgery. I was hospitalized for two weeks. I had to relearn how to walk um, and how to do some fine motor things. There was a lot of physical and occupational therapy involved in that dur during, before, and after. Um, and to my knowledge, we always had health care, we always had health insurance, I had a regular doctor that I saw. I know that health care in general for people with disabilities can be a problem. And I know that concerning language around health care and what this means and what that means can lead to a huge gap in accessibility and in coverage in general. I didn't find that I had that issue, but it was because I had people that I could ask those questions to. And I knew how to ask those questions and I knew how to look those things up. There are people in the disability community who may not have access to that access, if you know what I mean, and who may not know what questions to ask or that there are questions that need to be that Claire McCaskill is fighting for health care and for the Affordable Care Act makes me feel great because I don't know if she wasn't doing it, who would? Josh Holly is suing to take away the protections for pre-existing conditions makes me really angry and frightened for my future, both as a person with a disability and for the community of people with disabilities in general. It makes me feel really angry it makes me feel frightened for the future of, for my future and for the future of people in my community who may not have ready access to health care um, due to a super low employment rate among the disability community.